In this video, we are going to look at how to handle these scenarios when development takes place in parallel simultaneously in two different workspaces. So I have got two development environments open simultaneously. This is the new one and this is the old one. How to recognize which one is old and which one is new? Both look identical. Uh, you can recognize them by looking at that. The old one is having a history tab here, but the new one is not having such tab. So now I am on the new one and then let me first pull as we do. We pull. It is up to date. Now let me do some change. See, I save simultaneously some other developer in our old environment. Suppose it does some change, suppose here. Saves it and then commits it and pushes it. Commit and push. He is able to commit and push well. And now from this side, if the new developer will try to commit and push, this was change C. Now you see that while this change will be pushed to the central repository, the central repository has already advanced to change D. So let's see how it goes. If I click on commit and push, see the push was rejected because it is non-fast forward. And what is non-fast forward? We are not going to talk those jargons here in this rapid tutorial. Later on you can refer some manual, git manual for that, but you don't need to refer to that. I am going to explain you everything in simple terms to make you work in real world projects. So now your push was rejected. Let me click on OK. And then here I see that although the commit is there in our local repository, there is something to be pushed. That's why this is here. Now, what I should do is I should pull the changes again. When I'll pull the changes, the change D will be coming here. See here, the change D has come here. And now I should be pushing it. Push to upstream. Now it was pushed and both the branches were merged. Now if you go to our old workspace and pull the changes, you see that this both the changes have now come here as well. So to summarize, when you try to push some commit from a local repository to the central one, if the central repository has advanced in the meanwhile, it will not allow you to push and then you will need to pull the central repository to your local repository first and while pulling git will pull the latest changes from the central repository and it will merge that with your local repository and then it will commit the changes to your local repository and so your local repository will be having two commits which you can then again push to the central repository and in this way your central repository becomes latest one. Let us now see a more complex scenario. Suppose in one workspace you made some change. Change X. This is our old workspace and simultaneously in your new workspace you made some other change. 
change y and both the changes are made in the same line if you see your old workspace and new workspace everything looks identical here this is x and it, there that is y now if you commit and push it change x let's commit and push from the old repository it is pushed now let's go to the new repository new workspace and then let's try to commit and push from there you know that this is going to fail last time it had failed non fast forward and rejected now let's try to pull it fast like we did last time and when i am trying to pull it pull the changes from the central repository now we have pulled the changes and you see now what has happened after pulling the changes to our workspace git was not able to automatically merge the changes because it saw that both the changes were on the same line so it could not make out which change to keep and how to merge the code so in such a case a conflict arises and here we have the conflict in our workspace now which we have to resolve manually and then we have to commit manually so to resolve this uh, see here you see that this is the head part that means here it was the local repository part and this is the master branch from the central repository so let's say that you decide to make it like this change x y so you decided that this should be your final version now let's save it and after saving it you will need to tell git that you have resolved the conflict and to do so right click on the resource and then go to team and then add to index after you do that now you can team commit and then it has provided a default message for you let it be like that and then you can just commit and push so now it is pushed and you are happy